Good morning everybody. This is on a Monday. We are in a little town not far from me and we're going to hunt today. I got Low Tide Tim, you see, and Mr. Plays in the Dirt, John David over there. Uh, Tim's using his Equinox 800. John's going to use his Equinox 600. I'm going to start today with my Amphibio today and uh, we're going to get suited up. We're hunting this little park. We uh, got a killer permission coming up. We just don't know what day. Um, and you'll love that video. It's a virgin house from the 1880s. But we just, the, the guy's got to be home and he's not going to be home today. Or well, we'll get there and you'll see that video. So while we're getting suited up, getting ready to go, uh, here's a word from uh, Myers Metal Detectors, our sponsor, and I think he's going to talk today about uh, pouches, water pouches, land pouches, and diggers, shovels and diggers. So I uh, hope you enjoy that word from our sponsor, and uh, I think the guys here are ready to go, so let's get suited up and let's go. What do you think? We are out of here. We're ready. Let's go. See ya on the first targets. Hey folks, Phil Myers here from Myers Metal Detectors. In today's video, I'm going to show you some pouches and some digging tools that I use. Now these aren't beach hunting tools, these are for relic coin and yard hunting, house hunting, any type of hunting that you're doing other than at the beach. First thing I'm going to show you is a couple different diggers. I'll probably show you four different diggers. Now these are hand diggers. This is the lash tool. They came out with them first. And it's got a real nice sheath. So you can keep that on your side. You're not carrying. You, the only thing you got in your hand is your detector. You get, get a target. You're going to get that on your hands and knees. Use your pinpointer and your, your uh, lash digger. Now White's has made a copy of that one also. Theirs is a little heavier duty. The lash is made in the USA. This one is not. This one's made in uh, Taiwan. But it is extremely durable. It's heavy duty. It's a little heavier duty than the lash. The metal's heavier and the handle's bigger. It's got a nice sheath also, so you keep this on your side. Now those are my two hand diggers. I'll use them in any anytime I'm digging in somebody's yard. I've got permission. It's not like an open piece of property where it's a big field or they're going to do a construction project. Or if I'm in a park, I'll use something like that. Because I don't want to use a, a big uh, spade or shovel if I'm in a park because you're going to get thrown out. That would be the quickest way to get thrown out of a park. Now this tool, this is a, a white, I think they call this a hog dog uh, uh, digger. And I like this one. I also stock the uh, Lash T-Handle Samson. This one's 31 inches. I'm over six foot tall, so if you, I don't know if you can see this, but uh, I feel like I'm leaning down to use the, the Lash product. So I, I love the uh, whites because it's a little bit longer, I think the 36 inch length on it. So that's my preference if I'm doing any type of field hunting or job site hunting. I've got permission to be on a construction project. I'll use the bigger uh, shovel there. Now, White's also comes with a real nice uh, sheath to keep the blade from cutting anything in your car or your truck. You know, you can just put this sheath over it and uh, easier said than done and it's velcro so you velcro a shut so there you go that's a real nice product and i love that shovel and it's tall for us tall guys we can use that next i have some uh, aprons and i'll show you the ones let's see the newest one we stock is the omega mill and this comes in a camel and a green and these are really nice because you can your pinpointer it's got a slot for that You've got pockets that are zippered, keep your wallet, cell phone, that kind of stuff right in there. So you're not going to lose anything. Also, it's mesh in the bottom, so your relic's got sand on it. It's eventually going to uh, fall out, so you're not carrying all that home and into your house. Whites has a very similar product, exactly the same. Their material is a little different, but it does have that mesh in the bottom. Both of those are excellent relic hunting pouches to keep everything with you. Um, then, of course, I have... Uh, my handy dandy one, I've used this one for years. It's canvas, nail apron. These get the job done, a lot less expensive. Um, for beach hunting, I have a mesh water pouch. 
This is what I use because I like to put a couple bottles of water in there. Um, and then I put all my junk in with the uh, in the big pouch with the water. Any good finds I put in the smaller pocket, the yellow pocket there. I have that. I also stock the uh, Anderson and the uh, Extreme Scoop. Same thing. Extreme and the Anderson have a uh, on the inside of their smaller pouch. They have a real cool uh, carabiner, so you could put your rings on that. That makes it nice when you want to show somebody when you're in the, out in the water, you want to show a friend something you found. You got it real easy. Anyway, if you have any metal detector related questions, give me a call, 813-237-1939, or my email is floridaphil at me.com, F-L-P-H-I-L at me.com. Thank you and happy hunting. Yeah, here's John David's got his first target today. We'll see what it is. Look at that electric blue shovel. Ain't that pretty? He got something going on there. It's in that clod right there. Yeah. What is it? A bush. A oh, bush? Yeah. yeah, we got a bottle cap. Well, we're starting off the day good. That means it's going to be silver in our future. So John got him a bottle cap. And low tide Tim has disappeared. Oh, there he is over there. He's he's fixing to dig something. So I'm going to go get cranked up and see what else we can find. Well, we got us a little penguin here. See? A nice little penguin. Now, I don't know. I can't tell if it's silver or not. It may not be. But it's a little charm. So I don't know. But it's a cute, a cute little penguin. So that's something anyway. It's better than a memorial and a bottle cap. <laughs> so there's a place in the dirt is over there going to head into the playground. See him over there digging something. And low tide Tim's over there somewhere. Looks like he's digging something, so it's going to be interesting to see what we can find. So uh, let's get back to it, and I'll bring you back in when I find another good target. You see that, folks? We changed locations, and look at what I'm getting. Look at what I'm getting. There's got to be some sill. Silva. Oh, look at that. Look, oh my God. It looks like an SLQ to me. It sure there. does. Go ahead, pick it up. Uh -uh. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm working on my own over no, there. No, you, you get your own self down there and get that, man. Oh, my Lord. Lord of mercy. What, what's the date on it? You got one? Uh, I don't know. Got some water? Oh, we got squirty squirt. Eighteen what? It's just a little bit out. Of, no. It's probably white clean. Most of them Pretty are. Much, yeah. Like the buffalo nickel. Yeah. Yeah, but that's still that's per mm. Well, we knew we were going to find something. Good. SLQ. Man, Tim, so far. All right, let's see the. He's not over yet. Let's see right. the. Silver smile. Yes, sir. All righty, we'll be back. Hopefully, be one of us finding something too. Tim will find some more, but this is kind of what we're doing. We're hunting here. It's a 1950s place. We got a whole bunch of property here to hunt. We got permission, so we're going to get after it. Hopefully, we'll find some SLQs and some other goodies. Congratulations, Bubba. Let's get it done. That is good. We'll be back.
Well, let's see what Low Tide Tim's got here. Gold. Hey, jewelry bottle cap. Yeah. What the varietal is that? Cobra. Whoa. Yeah, I got one of those Cobras too. So what do you got today, John? Lunch. <laughs> I got a Cobra. Yeah, I got one of those. I also got, I don't know what that is. It's probably a bottle cap. That's a bottle cap. That's a piece of triangle. There's no writing on it. Well, this afternoon will be better. Yep. Let's go get us some silver. A quarter and a couple of pennies and uh, staple three nails and a, a cap all in one hole. Well, you're cleaning it out good. See, and look at that. John is the only man I know has got a Blue Thunder walker, a Blue Thunder shaft, and a Blue Thunder shovel. The man is a styling and profiling. Ain't that right, John? Got a styling and profiling. That's it. That's it. And having fun. That's right. Well, let's go find us some goodies. Well, folks, we got us uh, a lid off of some makeup or something I don't know it's in good shape Princess Pat uh, it's from Princess Pat Limited Chicago Illinois so I'll look that up and see see what it is but it's probably some makeup or you know some doll makeup kid makeup whatever but a pretty cool find so uh, Let's keep on going, and uh, we'll be right back when I find another good target. Well, here we go. We got us a hose squirter, one of those adjustable ones. It's, uh, I don't even know if they make them anymore. I mean, we had these when I was a kid, and trust me, that was a while ago. So, you can see how deep it was. So nothing else it's brass so there's low tide Tim right there I don't know what he's finding but uh, we're gonna keep on hunting for a while and we'll bring you back in we find another good target well I got me some kind of an odd looking uh, padlock this up there it's all corroded and I don't know what the hell it is there, but uh, a pace or Yale, probably Yale, a Yale lock. Probably not that old, but it's odd, so there you go. We're going to hunt probably for another hour, hour and a half, and then we're going to call it a day. And we'll bring you back in if we uh, find any other targets. Well, it looks like we got us an old cold water faucet handle. That was for the cold. It says C. Cold. Old porcelain inlay like that. They don't think they make those much anymore. Haven't for quite a while. So that's pretty old. Pretty cool. I'll take it. So let's go on and see what we can come up with. I rest the line. All right, boys and girls. You can stick a fork in as we're done. It's about just a little after four o'clock and we've been at it all day and we are old and no matter what anybody says there's a limit to what you can do. But here's the wrap up of what we found today. We're going to start with Mr. Plays in the Dirt, John David. John, tell us what you found today, son. Well, I found five quarters, two dimes, uh, four pennies, bottle caps, old stuff, weight. This must have been a grill for an old cooker. But I had my interesting uh, hunt was I found three nails, a bottle cap, porcelain, a broken porcelain saucer, and a staple all in one hole about eight inches down. And you talk about numbers, they were so beautiful, I, I was just looking at a dollar. But that's what I got. You, you had delusions of grandeur, didn't you, John? Yeah, I sure did. I hear you. But I had fun. Yeah, that's the only thing that matters. That's good, and we're glad you was able to come along today. 
All right, we're gonna go to Mr. Low Tide Tim, the man of the day. This is my trash. We dug a bunch of trash today, which we always do, I reckon. Yeah, my meager finds are down here. Interesting. We all saw that one. That was a bad mofo, right? Yeah. Yeah. This one. And it's, as with a lot of SLQs and you know date, it's all wore off. Date is gone. But uh, it's pretty, ain't it? It is pretty. It's a beauty. And then it got uh, some kind of a brooch or something. Very interesting. Very nice. So when we go on with my junk, there's my junk. I uh, got me, uh, I guess you saw, this hose concentrator. I don't even know if they make them anymore. Brass, but it's good. It's brass, and I got a piece off a towel rack, I'm sure. And uh, bottle caps, an old Yale padlock with some kind of juwapi up there. And you saw my uh, cold water handle the coins and the princess pat the princess pat uh, i'm thinking this is makeup or whatever i'll research that and uh that's kind of what we got today but we'll be back at it again tomorrow so stay tuned and hope you enjoyed the tip from myers we're going to head out of here. There's a cold Modelo waiting for all of us. And we're fixing to have one. So, like the video, share the video, mash that little bell to get notified. Share it, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And hit that like button. We'll see you on the next one.